Hello boys and girls, this is your old friend RJ City, and today we will be watching the trailer to 1987's Fatal Beauty, starring Whoopi Goldberg, and I think the last Whoopi Goldberg movie was, I can't remember the name of it, but it was her and Bobcat Goldthwait, and she was a robber, and he was a cop, and oh my goodness, things happened, and this feels like it's gonna be the same. 1987 seemed to be a hot year for the whoop. I do know that Cher was originally attached uh, to play this role, but then she dropped out to star in Moonstruck. And the fact that we still talk about Moonstruck and no one is talking about Fatal Beauty might say it all before we actually watch the trailer. Will there be death? It's certainly implied. There will also be beauty, because this is whoop at her peak. So without any further ado, let us watch the trailer to 1987's Fatal Beauty. Good roar? I don't know about the music. Uh-oh. What's the city like? L.A. L.A. Lots of Wacko. ways a girl can get into trouble. Oh Give me a kiss. God. What? Give me a kiss. Come on. She? And the surest way is to be a lady cop. You have the right to remain oh, silent. No. But she's no oh, lady. No. Oh, Jesus. My name's Detective Rizzoli. I'd like to ask you... Rizzoli of Rizzoli and Isles? Rizzoli. That's Italian, isn't it? This is Whoopi. What kept you? Stop to pick up a sailor? Yeah, I almost had one too, but your mother beat me to him. Oh. Get out of my way, I'll carve you in a steak tartare. I mean it. She's got the moves. She's got the mouth. This place is a real mess. You know what? We can find a good maid. You know, people like you are the reason abortion is legal. Whoa. She's got the Political. badge. Police officer free. <laughs> Smooth, but she's got ways. to have his help. Let me follow you around for Ooh. a while. To stop a killer. The fatal part. The cure! They want fatal beauty! What the hell are you doing here? Oh, I missed you too, oh, Rizzoli. Where'd everybody go? Maybe they got a whiff of your perfume. Oh, God. <laughs> I've been shot! Honey, I know I shot you. One word, and I'm going to clear your sinuses. What's the matter, Zoli? My cat's on your mind. So are you going to shoot him? Whoopi Goldberg. Get her out of here! <laughs> Sam Elliott. I can't let you go anywhere without me, can I? <laughs> Fatal beauty. You're probably undercover, or, uh, you get lousy taste. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Well, um, okay. It's so highly original to see a streetwise, wisecracking, uh, don't play by the rules kind of cop in Los Angeles, of all places, California, teeming with a more by the book policeman. And they have, she has certain unorthodox ways. I've never seen that before other than perhaps beverly hills cop i think at some point they said this is gonna be beverly hills cop uh but with Whoopi, and then they were like and go that's pretty much it she looks like she's taken all her or kept all her wigs uh for the sister act movies <laughs> anytime Whoopi is in a wig it is hilarious to me i don't know why it's necessary it doesn't hide her identity at all it just makes it more obvious that she's wearing a wig and that this is not what she looks like in real life i mean the one that giant curly wig is a little bernadette peters ish and then that weird kind of bob i do wonder her character's name is rizzoli is this rizzoli of rizzoli and isles what would later become rizzoli and isles i'm not quite sure i don't know how sam goes Oh, uh, Rizzoli, that's Italian, is it? And there's a big wink. So we never quite know. Is that the real Rizzoli? Did she kill Rizzoli? Who am I to say? She seems to enjoy beating the shit out of a woman who looks like Kirstie Alley, but is not Kirstie Alley. That's for sure. Because at the beginning, she punctures her in the face. And then later on in the trailer, she punctures her in the face and falls into the pool. And Sam says, oh, I can't take you anywhere. Sam, it's interesting. 
that Whoopi is like, oh, I'm playing by my own rules. But Sam does not look like that straight-laced either. So a lot of long hair and bushy mustaches for a policeman. I don't think that look is particularly to code. And they do, the fashion is great. Only on Sam Elliott. He seems to enjoy uh, wearing baggy sweatshirts, and it's a fun look. And there seems to be, you know, the streets of L.A. are in ruins. Everyone seems to have a gun. There is a scene where a man gets shot in the ass, which is a lot to take in. And before you can catch your breath, there's another scene of a man chewing on a beer bottle, broken glass. He's just chewing it. She seems really, really um, undeterred by these street toughs. I don't know why they're paired together. They don't seem to be on a mission. They just seem to be like regular, we're just gonna fuck around with a lot of drug dealers and maybe shoot them, definitely punch them in the face. We also don't like rich people. For some, We don't like very rich people. We don't like very poor people, uh, but we like to show our badge and say our names a lot. And then, however, there is a killer on the loose. Out of all these bad people, there's only one guy who actually kills somebody. So that's like, whoa, take it easy, pal. Why did you get so serious all of a sudden? And that guy seems to be the precursor to David Johansson's character in Mr. Nanny. He seems to have the same hair. And for some reason, he throws something on the ground. I didn't quite catch this. He goes, look at that. It it's fatal beauty. I'm like, what? So you know it's a good movie when they say the name of the movie in the trailer. That's how you know you have quality stuff. I've yet to see a chief of police. I've yet to see anyone say, oh, Rizzoli, you're on the case. And Sam Elliott. What I do note is that there seems to be zero sexual tension <laughs> between Whoopi Goldberg and Sam Elliott. I saw more sexual tension between Whoopi Goldberg and Bobcat Goldthwait than I th saw with her and Sam Elliott, which bothers me, because I think Whoopi is very attractive, and I think Sam is very attractive, and I think they would be nice together. I would rather see a movie of them all trying to buy a suburban home. That might be interesting. It's also great uh, that I think, I saw the poster of this, and she has like a pink cat. It looks exactly like Beverly Hills Cop. I don't know what else to say, except Whoopi doesn't seem to have many characters in this, just wigs. You know, Eddie Murphy would, oh, put on this character, put on this, oh, I was a fun voice, that's a fun voice, I'm this person, I'm not a little fletchy. There's a, no hint of fletch here. There's just Whoopi glaring at Sam Elliott, who makes quite a few derogatory remarks, and she has some of her own, but that doesn't seem like it's in a sexual way. And then it's, it's her really threatening to shoot people, and then, of course, her cat is on the roof. They always have, like, a poorly, all these cops in these kind of movies have are horrible pet owners. You never see them actually feeding the pet and then something invariably uh, will happen to said pet. And Sam insinuates that he, that she should shoot her own cat, which is a hoot and a romp. I do like the fonts. Uh, the fonts of the names were really, really good. It's good that much later they came out with Fatal Attraction uh, because Fatal Beauty is, is not doing it for me. And as much as I really want to sit through this movie in the ill-fated hope that Sam Elliott and Whoopi Goldberg have sex at some point, I will not be watching this movie in full.